A blockchain is essentially a digital ledger of transactions that is duplicated and distributed across a network of computer systems on a blockchain. It is a system of recording information in a way that makes it difficult or impossible to change, hack, or cheat the system. The blockchain consists of blocks. A block is a package of information wrapped up primarily with three types of data, ledger, hash, and previous hash. Each block can store up to 4,000 or even more transactions. Ledger is a list of transactions including information such as timestamp, description of commodity, value, and crypto address. A crypto address, or a Bitcoin address, is a secure identifier that allows the owner to send and receive payments. The ledger is secured through cryptography, the technique to turn plain text into a secret, so that only the sender and intended recipient can view the content. Hash is the block's unique identifier, a long alphanumeric value served as a digital fingerprint. P-hash or previous hash is the previous block's unique identifier that must equal to the previous block's hash value. So, blockchain is a shared, immutable ledger that facilitates the process of recording transactions and tracking assets in a business network. An asset can be tangible, for example a house, car, cash, land or intangible, intellectual property, patents, copyrights, branding. Virtually anything of value can be tracked and traded on a blockchain network, reducing risk and cutting costs for all involved. While blockchain is still largely confined to use in recording and storing transactions for cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, proponents of blockchain technology are developing and testing other uses for blockchain. Blockchain for payment processing and money transfers. Transactions processed over a blockchain could be settled within a matter of seconds and reduce banking transfer fees. Blockchain for monitoring of supply chains. Using blockchain, businesses could pinpoint inefficiencies within their supply chains quickly, as well as locate items in real time and see how products perform from a quality control perspective as they travel from manufacturers to retailers. Blockchain for digital IDs. Microsoft is experimenting with blockchain technology to help people control their digital identities, while also giving users control over who accesses that data. Blockchain for data sharing. Blockchain could act as an intermediary to securely store and move enterprise data among industries. Blockchain for copyright and royalties protection. Blockchain could be used to create a decentralized database that ensures artists maintain their music rights and provides transparent and real-time royalty distributions to musicians. Blockchain could also do the same for open source developers. Blockchain for Internet of Things network management. Blockchain could become a regulator of IoT networks to identify devices connected to a wireless network, monitor the activity of those devices, and determine how trustworthy those devices. Blockchain for healthcare. Blockchain could also play an important role in healthcare to manage electronic medical records while maintaining regulatory compliance. Distributed ledger technology. All network participants have access to the distributed ledger and its immutable record of transactions. With this shared ledger, transactions are recorded only once, eliminating the duplication of effort that's typical of traditional business networks. Immutable records. No participant can change or tamper with a transaction after it's been recorded to the shared ledger. If a transaction record includes an error, a new transaction must be added to reverse the error, and both transactions are then visible. Smart contracts. To speed transactions, a set of rules, called a smart contract, is stored on the blockchain and executed automatically. A smart contract can define conditions for corporate bond transfers, include terms for travel insurance to be paid and much more. The blockchain is decentralized and does not require a third party to verify the authenticity of each transaction. Some advantages favor the decentralized nature of blockchains. First, no need for a central authority to manage the database. Secondly, several copies of the database simultaneously exist on several computers. Third, validation of the datasets in each network node that guarantees that the information is not tampered with. All records are immutable, meaning they cannot be reversed or deleted. So, we could summarize these advantages into the following points, greater trust and greater security. With blockchain, as a member of a members-only network, you can rest assured that you are receiving accurate and timely data, and that your confidential blockchain records will be shared only with network members to whom you have specifically granted access. This is a greater trust.
consensus on data accuracy is required from all network members, and all validated transactions are immutable because they are recorded permanently. No one, not even a system administrator, can delete a transaction. This is a greater security. With a distributed ledger that is shared among members of a network, time-wasting record reconciliations are eliminated. And to speed transactions, a set of rules, called a smart contract, can be stored on the blockchain and executed automatically. As each transaction occurs, it is recorded as a block of data. Those transactions show the movement of an asset that can be tangible or product or intangible or intellectual. The data block can record the information of your choice, who, what, when, where, how much and even the condition, such as the temperature of a food shipment. Each block is connected to the ones before and after it. These blocks form a chain of data as an asset moves from place to place or ownership changes hands. The blocks confirm the exact time and sequence of transactions, and the blocks link securely together to prevent any block from being altered or a block being inserted between two existing blocks. Transactions are blocked together in an irreversible chain, a blockchain. Each additional block strengthens the verification of the previous block and hence the entire blockchain. This renders the blockchain tamper evident, delivering the key strength of immutability. This removes the possibility of tampering by a malicious actor and builds a ledger of transactions you and other network members can trust. You may be wondering, so how is blockchain stored? Each transaction in a blockchain is stored in groups of records called blocks. A block of information is filled with transaction records. Once a block is complete, it is linked to the previous one, forming a chain. That's where the name blockchain starts to make sense. Every block is encrypted by hash codes, making the data secure from simple brute force attacks. The result is a chain of blocks permanently linked together by time stamps. The chain forms a secure timeline of records that is useful to check transaction receipts by anyone who accesses the blockchain. Information about each transaction is recorded digitally in a database distributed among several computers in a network. So, the blockchain is stored on computers in a network called nodes. The data itself is stored on a user's hard drive. It can also be stored on a virtual server on a cloud computing network. Using cloud storage adds a layer of security for the blockchain, with the added benefit of remote access. So, in this video, we learned about some of the features of the blockchain. Blockchain technology is a decentralized, distributed ledger that stores the record of ownership of digital assets. Blockchain is applied in many industries. Blockchain is stored on computers in a network called nodes. Key elements of a blockchain are distributed ledger technology, immutable records, smart contracts, 